Hello everybody, here we are today with morning after ayahuasca ceremony. It was another great experience, rough but great. And uh, again, it's completely opposite of what uh, uh, the black forces are trying to do uh, in our reality now. Uh, they are working about on, on separation, inventing genders, separating and separating. And actually, uh, what was done during the Alaska ceremony is unification. And one of the strongest points in the ceremony was when uh, Christina Ayahuasca came and um, asked me if I need help and of course I welcomed it because it was hard work and she, s she sat down right in front of me facing me and uh, as we hugged all of a sudden this powerful surge of energy went through us through her and through me and uh, actually what was happening it is the creation of the new world of the new mother earth new new everything and what is happening is unification so actually it was a bonding between the male and female becoming one and actually in our bodies we are always one we are male and female at the same time but uh, one of those genders is more pronounced and the brain manifested then with different physique but we always have both in us only now with this new creation of the world we first have to unify everything and it was a really really powerful experience uh, as you can see this is the tambo where the ceremony is held it has um, a really nice ceiling It is all natural, made by the local wood and palm leaves. Whew. I'm still recovering from the experience. I had a nice bath in a cold stream in the morning, so feel rejuvenated. But it will take me three days to recover from ceremony like this. Again, it was shown that everything is basically frequency and our brain is pre-programmed of the original program by the program by the creation from before. And uh, it is pre-programmed only on sub for survival mode, which we call the reptilian brain. And um, during our life, we are learning the changes that we have made since the original programming was done to be able to assimilate with this creation of the new world. We are always creating. We are the creators. Uh, we are being told um, different but remember everything what we are being told is opposite of the truth for example the 666 number is being demonized but it is on purpose because 666 is actually a very positive number it is the number of carbon which is the life creation Okay, six protons, six electrons, and six neutrons. Six, six, six. Same as this was misinterpreted. The snake is misinterpreted, uh, misinterpreted as a uh, face of a devil because it made us to exit Eden by eating the forbidden fruit. But actually, snake is a healer, 
dragon is a healer. Those are powerful healing forces. And uh, of course the gender, as I mentioned, we are being told that there are a million genders now, and separating and separating, when actually this is a moment of unification and bonding and, and uh, merging. So one sex, again, we always are one sex. One is more pronounced than the other. And um, things which are happening now on the planet, those are the turbulent days of dramatic changes. The last day ayahuasca sessions were all about creation of the new earth. Little by little, deeper and deeper, stronger and stronger. Uh, I don't know what will be the next one. It is always a mystery. But it is basically continuation. It just builds up. Ultimate healing requires energy realignment. Everything is just energy. So, as I have explained, if you bring the wrong energy close to your cells, close to your DNA, well, DNA will respond to it and try to adjust to survive and recalibrate the cell so the cell can survive. And um, by doing so, yes, we survive, but if we are exposed to the wrong energies, then we become sick. Sickness is nothing more than deviation of frequency. This is why it happens in your body. Even if it is virus or bacteria or fungus, it is your body's creation. It is just how your brain is programmed to interpret change of frequency in your body, in your organ or whatever. This is why healing can be done in many different ways. But it's always based on energy. It could be based on quantum energy as a quantum healing or it can be based on energies which our brain understands better as a reality. So for example, every type of what we call food has its own frequency. Now if you take a food from nature and you eat it the way you found it, you are basically absorbing the correct frequencies. This is what I call the food of God. And a lot of people are misled through either religion or the brain programming into believing that eating plants uh, causes a less damage to the environment and that you cannot spiritually grow if you don't live on strict vegetables and or fruits well it is not so because digestion of our body it was pre-programmed before to be omnivore and omnivore is basically a meat eater carnivore that also eats fruits so problem comes not because we are eating meat but the problem comes when we start changing the frequency of the food and how do we change it by heating it up every chemist knows that chemical reactions speed up with heat higher frequency makes changes now 
as the brain is programmed to basically interpret every frequency in a way as the program goes, the Pentium chip in the brain. So change of a frequency is also being interpreted by a brain. So if good frequency makes a liver look healthy, then a bad frequency of liver is going to show some blemishes on it because it's just a wrong frequency and the brain has to make the difference. Same as it does with the food. For example, everybody knows that doesn't matter if it is fruit, vegetable or meat, it changes taste consistency. And um, when you cook it, uh, this is visual three-dimensional change, but it changes this because the frequency of it has changed, and when your brain receives this changed frequency, it just interprets it to us in this way. Now cells or genes, they do not have, not have this brain of ours, so they can see it as such. All they sense is the frequency, and they adjust to it, and try to adjust. You can never adjust completely. You can never have a gasoline engine and run it on diesel. But yes, you can add some diesel to gas, and you can run the engine, but what happens? It starts smoking like crazy, and if you continue running it like this, it will build up carbon and you will screw up the engine. So, same is happening with our food, and we have to be very conscious about it. Forget about the idea that meat eaters are not connected. I am pure carnivore. And I'm very connected. So, what we are being told by religious leaders is a lot of nonsense. Basically, everything we ever heard from anybody is a lot of nonsense because we lost our ways 6,000 years ago. Arunaki helped us. And we lost it once when we took the forbidden fruit which, as I explained in my articles, it's the glucose, dietary glucose, starch, sugar that is not sweet. And from that point on, we are basically continuing being misled more and more and more and more. This is progression, always progression. And the forces of evil basically want the whole destruction. If they cannot rule, they, they want destruction. But it ain't happening. And we have been saved. We woke up and we asked for help. Nobody can interfere until you ask. You cannot do anything without asking. And nothing happens unless you ask. Even if you want to get new knowledge, you have to ask for it. And it will come. Just zero, concentrate on it, and ask for help. And it will come. Okay, this is going to be a short video today. Uh, my group over here is getting ready to eat some fruits. Me. No way, Jose. My stomach feels just settled great. I'm going to wait until I get home. And then I'm going to have some yogurt and cheese today. Tomorrow fish maybe. Because ayahuasca, uh, the whole experience exhausts the body. Even though I'm running on fats, so... I feel okay, but every time after ayahuasca, 
now we have a 40 minute 45 minute walk through jungle to get to a civilization and um, this requires more energy and usually when I get home uh, at about 11 o'clock 12 o'clock in the afternoon I start feeling pressure on my forehead I already feel it now a little bit cooling down in the river out but then I break down in uh, internal fever because a lot of toxins have been cleansed and our bodies are being used as robots to do the job we don't do it consciously because we don't know how to we just let go and allow process to happen again permission you ask for it or you give it if any of you is interested in having experiences like this connect to the higher self get to know the truth get to know yourself better you are welcome to come here to Peru and uh, join us in creation of the new planet Earth, new life. It's all being created now, not only here, around the world. Different shamans are doing the same job. Okay, thank you for being here with me. I love you. Bye.